coming your way again today is rhapsody wednesday the third of february and i'm just a vessel i'm just using my mouth i pray god to touch my mouth as i read the message to you all so that it will be a blessing unto everybody from today onwards in the mighty name of jesus amen So the title of today's devotional is Reigning Through Jesus Christ. Reigning Through Jesus Christ. For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gifts of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. Romans 5.17 The underlined preposition by is the Greek dear, which means true. We are to reign in life through Jesus Christ. In the millennium, we are not going to reign through him, but with him. We will also reign with him in the new heaven and the new earth the bible says we shall reign with him a thousand years revelation 26 second timothy 2 12 says if we suffer we shall also reign with him if we deny him he will also deny us but that is all in the future but now we reign through him in this life hallelujah walk in that consciousness remember what the word says in romans 6 4 therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death that like as christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the father even so we also should walk in newness of life this new life is the life of kings revelation 5 10 says he is made as kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth you are a new you are a new person with kingly values and mentality look at the world differently from the perspective of victory and reigning the amplified classic version of our team verse says we shall reign as kings in the realm of life you are a king reign as one rule with words that's what kings do the bible says where the word of a king is there is power ecclesiastes 8 4 Exercise dominion through words. Issue commands to Satan and the elements of this world, and they will hear and obey you because you function in and with the dominion of Christ. You can alter the course of events and change circumstances from the privacy of your room. That is why you should never be moved by anything it doesn't matter what the situation is you can cause them to align with the will of god through your faith-filled words glory to god confession for the day i have been graced to reign in this life through righteousness i make decrees they are established because i function and with the authority of christ i refuse sickness failure defeat and death i reject anything that is not of god and endorse only that which is consistent with his perfect will for me hallelujah amen so that's the word to us we have to reign as kings we have to use our words wisely to cause things to align in our favor according to the perfect will of god Brethren, this is the word. So I hope 
this word has come handy. So you know now onwards that you are a king, and kings have power. So we will use our words to pro pronounce things into alignment in our lives from now onwards because we know we have the power the power in our words to do such things so i pray that as we all listen to this word today it's gonna be meaningful to us from now onwards the fear everything will vanquish because we are in christ and he is in us so we will use our words to make things to align into the perfect will of god for our lives amen Thank you, family and friends, for listening today. I'm so blessed to have you all listening to this word today. May God add his own blessing to this word so that it will stick in our hearts and we'll meditate upon it. In the name of Jesus, amen. Well, I will say thank you for listening and I will see you, God willing, next time. Thank you and bye for now. Stay blessed. God loves you. Bye.